आई एम श्रेया विद माई फ्रेंड नित्या एंड वी आर योर पॉडकास्ट होस्ट इफ यू आर टायर ऑफ बोरिंग बिजनेस टॉक्स एंड एंडलेस जॉगन यू हैव कम टू द राइट प्लेस We are here to shake things up and bring some fun into the world of business. We are excited to bring you a conversation that's fun and packed with practical insights. Welcome to our all new Hilobus podcast. Think of this podcast as your business playground where we'll have lively conversations, share laughs, dig into the all things related to entrepreneurship, innovation and running a successful business. We'll bring you fresh perspectives, unique insights and practical tips from experts and entrepreneurs who know the game inside out. And for those of you who don't know, Hilobus is a part of Vyana network and we are passionate about helping businesses grow and thrive. Absolutely. Over the years, we have gained valuable insights from our customers and the market. We have identified some key topics that we want to discuss with you. Today, we are going to talk about the world of working capital, which is crucial aspect of running a successful business. Money makes the world go round, and it's especially true when it comes to running a business. You need cash to keep your business afloat and invest in growth opportunities. And why is working capital important for business Nitya? Well, without enough working capital, businesses can run into cash flow problems and struggle to pay their bills, and that's a recipe for disaster. So, working capital is the money that businesses need to keep their operations running smoothly. It's the cash that's available to pay for things like rent, salaries, inventory, and other day-to-day expenses. It's the lifeblood of any business. and without it you're dead in the water so let's break it down to our listeners working capital is the difference between your current assets and current liabilities your current assets are things like cash inventory and account receivable while your current liabilities include things like account payable loan and taxes if your current assets are greater than your current liabilities you have a positive working capital and if you have a negative working capital It means that you have more liabilities than assets which can be a real challenge for businesses. That's where things get tricky. When you have negative working capital, it means that you don't have enough cash to cover your expenses, which can lead to cash flow problems, missed payments and even bankruptcy. Oh, that doesn't sound good at all. But don't worry, we have got you covered. We are here to help you avoid those challenges and keep your working capital healthy. Exactly and it all starts with managing your cash flow efficiently you need to make sure that you're collecting payments from your customers on time paying your bills on time and managing your inventory efficiently and along with it you need to have a plan in place for unexpected expenses or emergencies having a reserve fund or access to credit can be a real life saver when unexpected challenges arise But unfortunately many businesses struggle with managing their working capital. It's a constant balancing act maintaining enough cash flow to keep things going and have enough working capital to invest in future growth. Hmm and it gets even hard when it comes to collecting payments from clients. Late payments, missed invoices and manual reconciliations can take up valuable time and energy that could be spent on growing your business instead. And here's the thing managing your working capital doesn't have to be a chore it can actually be fun and exciting challenge you can get creative with your cash flow management come up with new strategies and watch your business grow as a result well maintaining a good financial profile by tracking invoices receivables and payables in real time can improve the chances of getting access to loans This is because it showcases the payment history, the track of unpaid bills which acts as a collateral and the level of financial stability of the business which lenders considered when evaluating any loan application. And if you are feeling overwhelmed, don't worry, there are plenty of resources out there to help you manage your working capital efficiently. You can consult with a financial advisor, use financial software, you can visit our blog page for more details. the link to which is given in the description or even join a community of like minded entrepreneurs and get advice and support absolutely shreya and with that we wrap up our podcast for today 
We hope you have enjoyed the conversation about working capital. Remember, managing your working capital effectively is the key to success in business. So go out there, have some fun and watch your business grow.